Hello friends, welcome back to Star Stylist Homestead. So tonight, because this is your second video, I'm going to be making these taco, whatever you call them. <laughs> I don't even know. I seen a video a few weeks ago, I said, whoa, those look really good. Watch this. You guys put whatever you want in them. The wonton wrappers, put them all in there. I sprayed my pan, put the wonton wrappers in. Okay, I'm going to put some meat in each one of them. People come up with the craziest ideas. I hope this comes out as good as I think it's going to because you know I love tacos. And, but we have that. Okay, so there's the meat. And then I'm going to put some cheese. And I had three different packages of cheese. I had cheddar, the taco blend, and my, my other one. I just blended them all. So we're going to top this with cheese. Then we go back through and lay another one of these down. You know what? I wonder if I... You know what? No. Before I do that... Because I want them to have some oomph to it. I'm just going to put a little drop of salsa on each one of these. You know, and then the tops, of course, are going to have your sour cream and whatnot. It's almost like this is not big enough because I can't see another one going on top, but it's going to. All right, so then do this the opposite way. And I'll just do these two to show you and then get them all done and fill it again. And you're just going to repeat Ooh, the same thing. But this one couple of them I want to put some beans in it. So I'll put beans in this one. Okay. And then I'm going to put the salsa on top of that. And then the cheese on top of that. And then they're going to go in a 350 oven. I think it's like 15 or 20 minutes. And that's all there is to it, my friends. Check this out. See, I'm going to get the rest of them done just like this my oven is heated to 350 and i'll be back when these are done Alrighty, my friends and there you have them look at this oh those look delicious come on and if i forgot to tell you i had cooked my um i use ground turkey so your hamburger whatever i use ground turkey i cooked it while i was doing my first video I'm going to put these in the oven, and I'm going to set it for 15. Um, and I had it all ready, so none of it's hot. I opened my can of beans and strained them. Um, I mean, sprayed them, and just had everything ready. So now it's basically, it's all cooked, other than the shells. We just want to melt it and warm it up. And that's all there is to it. And they're supposed to be really crispy, and you know me and crispy. I'm looking forward to them. I'll bring you back when they come out. Friends, check those out. That was 10 minutes. I decided to keep three of them in the oven for another five just to see if the bottom would get crispier. But, I mean, those are cooked, and those are crispy, and the cheese is all melted. But I just want to see what it does. I'll bring you back for it. All right, friends, 15 minutes. Leave them in for 15 minutes. Let me show you. It did brown up the bottoms a little bit more. See, compared to this one. I think it's gonna end up being crispier. And I could have just thrown them back in the pan and threw them back in there, but I don't feel like it. I mean, the it's all done. And it's crispy, just not as crispy as those that I'm going to eat. <laughs> so, I would say 15 minutes, make sure you spray your pan. Um, and then they're done. 
So how about we do a taste test? Might as well get it all done right now, right? Look at that. I mean, seriously. Look at this. And that baby's hot. So, I am going to put some more um, salsa. Actually, I'm going to just put it on my dish. And some sour cream. I mean, after all, it's tacos. Need me a fork. Now, if it was cool, you could just bite right into this. I ain't biting into this. But I am going to split it and show you. Without burning myself. Totally. Look at that. You see the smoke coming out of that? Yeah, that would be that would be a mistake. It smells so good. Here we go. Mm. Yep, it's a taco. <laughs> Cool way to do it. Mmm, nice and crispy. I think I like tacos because they are nice and crispy. Look at that. That's a big bite. For a big mouth. Those were super easy, guys. And I bet you those wrappers are cheaper than taco shells. Um, definitely cheaper than the nacho shells at five dollars, or, yeah, nacho shells, dip, chips, definitely cheaper than those. Um, I think I had two left out of that package, but come on, those are super good. You hear that? And easy. And they stay together. Look, honestly, I cut that in three pieces. And look, that's the other half. You can't do that with a taco. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Try it, guys. It's fun. If you have kids, make them with your kids. Um, it'd be a great appetizer. I had fun making them because it was something different. And you can put whatever you want in them. I put beans in half and no beans in the other half because my son doesn't like beans. So... Pick and choose what you want. You want jalapenos in there? Have at it. We'll see you again this week sometime. Ciao for now.